Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight I made a little bit of an update circuit for this Bedini motor. Um, this is the variation that has the ceramic magnet. So I have um, six ceramic magnets in here. Um, they're actually triple stacked. And then this is the newer coil that I made. It's uh, 850 turns uh, with the welding rod core. And then I updated the circuit with a little pot. This is a 10 turn 10K pot. So you have a lot of adjustability with it, which is really cool. And um, what I have is um, our input coming in here, black and red, um, coming from this battery. This is a lithium iron phosphate. And then here's our voltage, and then this will be our amperage. And then this is the output coming out of the motor while it's running. Uh, I have a 14 volt zinger in it, so it's triggering right around 15 volts. Uh, you'll be able to see on this meter. And then this is the standing voltage of that battery. So pretty neat. So let's just fire this up. Um, instead of a light bulb, I have um, a 220 ohm resistor right here um, to protect this pot because this is a lower wattage pot. Um, the normal one I use is a 25 watt. This is uh, 5 watts. So we have to protect that a little bit more. So this is what the pot turned all the way up or or the lowest resistance and uh, it's about 260 milliamps and then here's our energy going back and um, this is on regular SG mode uh, if we put it on generator mode it uses a little bit more power um, but we're getting back quite a bit more so let's uh, put this back on SG so you can see the little H waves so this is the output on top charging the capacitor and um, we could adjust what you want to do is um, once you get up to full speed you want to start turning this resistance higher until this motor gets at max speed if you go too far you see it starts doing multi pulses so you want to back it off just a little bit get it back up to speed so it's about right there so that's about 200 milliamps tune and um, let's see what the RPMs are. The Neo version is a lot faster but it's about seven, 745 RPMs and um, so this this wire on here I have 26 and 24 so 850 turns um, of both wires wound together and um, so most people like run it like this but if you start turning this thing down we could get into Multi pulses, and uh, we could really bring the, the amperage input down a lot. So we could just keep adjusting this thing. We could get instead of one pulse per magnet, now we have four. So if you look at the scope, you have four of them on there. So now we're using 62 milliamps, and then this is what we're pulsing back to the battery. Uh, about a half an amp every every two seconds and uh, that's a really efficient way to do that um, when you do it in generator mode um, you can keep it really really low too this is between 50 and 64 milliamps and um, it can pulse back to the battery really nicely so um, the other thing I want to show that I don't think I've ever shown with these Bedini motors that I just kind of figured out recently is that if you take this off, you want it to run really, really low. We could short this output out completely. So this is basically forcing the the back spikes to go back through the system, back to the battery itself, the run battery. Um, basically making it into a loop back without without the cap dump and everything like that. So we could turn this back on and start this up so this like this right now we're using 12 milliamps and yeah, we could actually go quite a bit lower on this thing so here's 7 milliamps There's 5.6 milliamps. So 
see on the screen just pulsing and there's no top because the outputs all shorted out uh, which is really neat so 0 0.0047 and um, so we could really tune this thing down and it's really neat to see because this is like almost nothing and um, let's tune this up just a little bit let's try to start this again there you go so seven total milliamps I think it's about six is about as far as you want to go before it starts fading out but yeah it's really cool like that I mean if you want to calculate what that is it's extremely low so say 12 volts um, we got 13.2 so 13 2 times 0 0.00 6 8 so point zero eight so point zero nine watts which is really crazy that this little thing still runs like that so yeah but um, if you guys are interested in this motor I have them on my site and um, all you have to do if you want this style is just tell me to do the, the higher efficiency version and I'll have this circuit with the higher turn coil and uh, yeah it has six ceramic magnets or ferrite magnets instead of eight neos and um, yeah it's pretty neat to see it go like that so anyway if you have any questions leave them in the comments don't forget to check out my store and thanks for watching